Hey guys, it's me, Michaela, and today I'm going to be making some butterfly concepts. On Adopt Me's Twitter, they posted a poll asking Adopt Me players what egg they would like to see next and help me get some ideas on what future pets they can add in the game. And one of them are butterfly, which is what I'm making in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy. But anyway, let's go ahead and begin. So my original plan for this butterfly egg is that you will basically age up or quote hatch caterpillar and you will get a monarch butterfly but each time you hatch one you will get like different colors you'll get like orange red but it'll be a monarch butterfly and i did create these but i just did not like them so we're not going to look at those we're just going to skip those butterflies for now and move on to the caterpillar which i like so we're gonna move on to that. So for this caterpillar, I had trouble getting the shape of the reference photo that I was using. I got too lazy and since I'm using a mouse, which I'm not sure if you guys know, I'm using a mouse for all these concepts. So they're a little bit more tricky. Instead, I just traced over the shape. I'm not sure if that even worked, but I tried my best here. I wasn't sure how to make like a caterpillar because I never really draw those. So I searched up some pictures of some cartoon caterpillars, but I didn't really find them helpful at all, so I just continue. Originally, this was supposed to be a sketch, but I got too lazy, so I just colored it. After some coloring, I finally finished, and I think it turned out pretty well. Later on, I ended up cleaning it up too, so you'll see that. Moving on to the actual butterflies I actually went with, which is my second plan, which is to basically hatch or age up caterpillars and then you will get different types of butterflies. I think that was a better idea. I don't know why I went with the colorful ones. I feel like this one makes a lot more sense. So online I searched up some different types of butterflies and I just picked out different ones that I really liked and I chose I believe five different ones five different new butterfly types and I liked all of them. They're pretty nice and I started working on them. The first butterfly I worked on was a cloudless sulfur. I like this one because it's so bright and I just really like the color. Since I was having trouble with the shapes and everything, I decided to just trace it. But I found out this feature that Photoshop has. There is like a symmetry tool feature and I was having trouble with it but I was able to learn it and I figured out how to use it. Basically, this feature will just mimic what you did on one side of that line and just mimic what you do on that other side. On the icon it had like a butterfly shape so I'm pretty sure that probably caught my eye when I was looking. Anyway moving on to the actual butterfly. I think this one wasn't that difficult to do. I really like doing like the shading on the wing on the bottom and everything. I also decided to add some wrinkles to help make the butterfly look more detailed. The best part of doing this butterfly was the coloring. The coloring wasn't that difficult to do and you just have to kind of blend it together but I really like this one. The next butterfly I worked on was the summer shirt. This one was difficult for me for the coloring this time because on the reference photo it has this little like texture on top which is like a glitter maybe. I don't know what it is. Since the butterfly didn't have like that glow it has in the photo, I didn't really see that in the drawing version, so I just added some white dots to help it. I'm not sure if it's noticeable even, but I mean I added something. And then for the upper like wing area, I added texture as well. And I think adding texture definitely makes it look a lot better. The third butterfly I did was the pipeline swallowtail. This one I really liked because it just very different shape and I just really like the color scheme on this one too. For some reason this one was really difficult to do like the shading or like the color ombre on this one. The purple part of the wing as you can see it wasn't that difficult for me but for the blue area I was just having trouble like blending it out. 
and I normally don't have that much trouble, but this time I did, which was unusual, but it was okay. And I keep forgetting that I have to add eyes to these butterflies because they are supposed to be a pet concept. Most of them I added white like dots because it's more noticeable, but I have to change that like towards the end. And I think here I started to realize that, so I just added some dots on. And the next one I did was a Clotus Gore. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. But for this one, I just didn't really like it like when I was working on it. I just didn't really like it that much. I think it's probably just a shape that I did even though I traced the shape. Maybe the shape made it look not the best, but I don't think this is my favorite one. I was having some trouble with the lines that the butterfly has. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's like little spikes maybe. I was having trouble doing that, so maybe that's contributing to why I don't like it that much. I keep on losing my voice during this video, but let's just move on to the last one, which is this butterfly. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but this one I really like the reference photo. I loved the color scheme for this butterfly. I didn't really have much trouble doing the shape or anything or the shading. I decided to add eyes to this one, or I think I did it to all of them, but I added like a highlight and I really like the highlight on this butterfly and I really like the eyes, which helped me get an idea of what the eyes are going to look like. So I decided to basically just add eyes to all of butterflies similar to this one. After I finished this butterfly, I looked back to look at the other butterflies I drew and I just didn't really like the monarch butterfly I drew originally. So I found a reference photo, I traced it, and I tried to add like the ombre it has. I think it turned out a lot better than the one I did originally. Afterwards, I just added like the highlight the eyes on each butterfly after this. And then after I did the eyes for all the butterflies, I was looking at the caterpillar and I just didn't really like how it looked so I changed some things and I also did the eyes as well. Did not record this because I just didn't want to record it for some reason so there's no footage of me doing that but I'll show you the final reveal of the butterflies plus the caterpillar right now and I'll also tell you my final idea in more details. So this is the final outcome of all my work and everything. Here is a caterpillar. It looks pretty similar. I just changed the eyes and I tried to clean it up a little bit and everything else is basically the same but I just added highlights and I really like how this turned out but my final final idea is to basically match or open caterpillars and then you will get these butterflies here. I'm not sure what the rarities are going to be, so you guys can comment down below which ones you should think are legendary, rare, rare, and stuff so like that. But another idea I had was for your first like hatch for this egg, you get to keep the caterpillar as like a gift. And I think that'd be really cool. So you can have like a caterpillar as a pet and an egg. Another idea I had is that instead of having the caterpillar egg in the nursery it should be like around the map. So I was thinking maybe in this area here since they just recently added this like little tree area. thinking maybe they should have like an area here maybe because not a lot of people go here like to pizza shop and toy shop. Maybe they should have an event over here or something and like have some caterpillars on like the tree leaves if they can even do that i'm not sure or maybe even have like on the ground maybe and you can just go nearby it and purchase it and you can age it up and then you get to see what butterfly you receive and those are just all my ideas comment down below some ideas you have for any pet any egg adopt me can add i am thinking about making a video for the ocean pets because i do have some ideas and i want to make concept videos they're very fun to do. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on Saturday for another video. Bye.